Hello farmers. Welcome today. As today we are still on our solar plant project. And our main topic of today I'll be showing you how we harvest our Zola. So after you have set up your Zola pond and it's ready for harvesting, it looks like ours here as you can see. So for you to be able to harvest your Zola, you need to have a collecting bag like mine there. You need tool or equipment and I told as I I told the harvesting tool should be a sieve, a scoop net, or a basin with holes so that when you are on top of water, it picks only as well as it, your water in the pond. For, for our case here, we are using a basin to harvest as well. Your basin should have, like mine here, as you can see, it's our tool which we use to harvest azola so the harvesting process is jumbo as you can see here my azola is ready and for you to harvest you just put in your basin like mine here then you start just moving your basin on water like that if you see your basin like it's full you just raise up like this it drains all the water and you remain with the azola on your basin and then you just pour this side you are collecting bucket then you continue just the same process like how I'm doing here as you can see done you continue with the whole until you harvest like about 70% of your azola in the pond you don't harvest all azola in the pond you just harvest like 70 percent then you you leave the remaining like 30 percent in the recycling and growth of your azola so as you can see here i'm harvesting as you can see behind that which i'm leaving will go Continues to recycle and it grow, grows until it all gets it covers the whole surface of water as you can see there. So you just move like this, you leave all, all the drain, then you put in your packet. The continuous. this way as you can see our solar is, is clean. that way just move this in on water like that you leave the water to drain you put in a collecting packet that continues as you can see how I'm doing it as you see so for my case here what I have harvested for my pond is enough I have harvested about 70% and I have left like 30% for continuous growth for my case here which I have here in the next six days or five my result will be ready again for harvesting in this pond. 
like for my in one pond I have harvested here as you can see this is about 10 kgs and this 10 kgs can feed my pig for like when I mix with the it's for like four days as I take if my, my pig feed on three kgs per day I'll take 1.5 kgs of azola and 1.5 kgs of feed then I mix like for see here it can save me for like four days I come to my next pond here as you can see it's ready as you can see so the same process procedure you just move your scoop net or your basin on top of that water like that you pick your azola you leave the water to drain then you put in your collecting back you move a gadget or your basin on top of water you pick your azola water drains put in your collect bucket you continue the process until you see that you have harvested about seven percent then like thirty percent of your azola in your pond so as it continues to regrow that way same process same procedure wow like my pond here and for good results for your to grow well remember and enough manure for continuous regeneration so as it's where to satisfy your need on your Yes, you can see. see. You just move a basin like that. See how that that that. You see, like your basin is about. You collect. In the case we have fallen is inside. You remove them. So you clean azola. Yes, you can see our azola is very and our pond is fertile and producing more and it looks very nice just still harvesting so i have remained like without 30 percent of my pond for continuous regenmination that way that way just move move your basin you have your azola you have your water remaining in the pond that way, that way. This is our Zola. And here for point. This way. You see our Zola in the bucket. There. Here we have our point. Same procedure, same process. Just as you can see. So my here, I have harvested about seven percent. I have remained with thirty percent in the pond. Regimination and growth. 
and here as you can see my bucket like here i have like of my as well here and this is the now i pick three for one day as it has saved me a lot continue following us for more more about farming we farm everything is digital we know a lot of organics we just formulate our own things fun becomes more easier thanks for watching you are welcome to subscribe and visit us for more teachings about